thong bikini on all day. She just wouldn't do it. No, I wouldn't. Hey? No, I wouldn't. I know you wouldn't, and I wouldn't expect her to. I didn't expect you to do it. Yeah, and she wouldn't do it. But then, can I just say, that's exactly how I felt this morning with the makeup. Which is exactly why I'm taking the attitude that I've got. But then you had that uh, terrible attitude with me this morning. Which is exactly why I've got the attitude that I've got. That's how it started. What do you mean? You know you're not listening to what I'm saying. This morning, I didn't want to go without my makeup. Correct. You jumped right on me. I can fully understand why you wouldn't want to wear a crab costume. I'm not going to jump on you. I, you know, I didn't jump on you. I walked away. I walked away and said, fine, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. And no, I you away. did. You did jump on me. Well, I did once you continued the conversation. But you I know, don't give a I hope you understand now how I felt this morning about going without my makeup is the same way how you feel about wearing a crab outfit. If you had, a, if you, if everyone was willing to give 150 percent on the task, I would put it on. What about if I go and wash my makeup off? Then do you want to wear it then? Then well, everyone's trying. It's too late now. I've already failed. You're such a big man, aren't you, John? Well, what's he got? What? What? What has he got that I want? You're fighting something for the sake of fighting it, though. Yeah, I know. Just, uh, just out of pure principle. <clears throat> Oh, Prin seriously, I wouldn't get in that costume for a million dollars. principle of what, Not even John? a million dollars. If you offered me a million dollars right now, I would not get in that costume. Principle of what, John? Just the fact that someone no. thinks that he can tell you what to do, and he knows You've that... You've come on a fucking game show where they give you tasks and you do the tasks. Hang on, I've spoken... But... What was you expecting? You was oh, my come God, I wasn't expecting John that from fucking... Pepper. I was just expecting him have to shut his mouth. Have a holiday, John. What this is expecting? Of course this is a holiday. Obviously, they're going to ask you to do ridiculous things. But, if you ever want but it's up to you whether you do... But it's up to you whether you do them or you don't. That's the whole idea of coming on the show. That's why they put in different personalities, dickhead. The idea of the show is that you do what, you know, you do the tasks and that, and you must know that is when it? you came on. Is it, though? The idea is to be yourself. The idea is to be yourself, bottom line. That's the end of the story. Yeah, but still do the tasks. You can be yourself and do Yeah, but be yourself time. and react to tasks that you would normally react to. So, so if they ask you to dress up like a clown and you don't want to do that, then that's being yourself. What is the point of doing something just because someone tells you to do it just because you've been selected to go on the show? Because it's fun. They have selected you to come on the show. Just There's a, a bit difference. of fun, John. Hey? Just a bit of fun. Yeah, but fun according to who? Fun is what you classify as fun. Something that you might consider to be fun might be shit for me. Everything I hear is fun. One well, if, that, if that's fun. what you think, then that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. That's why you've been selected. Nothing? Nothing? Still got nothing? Cool. I can understand where he's coming from though, John, because a lot of other people, all right, Corin's not, but because of one person isn't giving 100%, you're saying, okay, why the fuck should I do it? But then exactly. if everyone thought like that, then none of us would fucking get anything and we'd never have any food This in has it. been the we'd argument. Never do anything. This was the argument you had with, with ben. Benny from day yeah. one. You was arguing this with Benny right from the start. And all I asked him to do was give 100%. Yeah, but he wasn't giving 100%, but you still was. You were still giving 100%. Yeah. And you were in that. You was always trying yeah. to get Benny to give his 100%. But now, 100%. we've been in here for 10 weeks now. If everyone can't work out that giving 150% is what we have to do in order to pass tasks, then how's that not hard to work out? I, I would have thought, John, the only thing, only issue I've got, I would have thought you had more pride about yourself to carry on with a task yeah. and say, fuck what anyone else yeah, is doing. Because it's not... When you've been here for 10 weeks, Jay, you can't be fucked. I can't be fucked. I'm not going to argue. Corin is completely entitled to her opinion. What? And, I'll, and I've not bring up anything that she has done since, since that banter on the couch. And yeah. I'm not going to because she's, she's a grown woman. She's entitled to do what she wants to do. She's got her opinion. She doesn't want to do certain things. I don't fucking blame her. Yeah. And I'm, but I, be but I would have thought that, that, that you, in the, in the way that you usually act and your morals and the things that you say about yourself, you would think, okay, fuck what everyone else is doing, if I can help this task for everyone else, I would have thought and that you were the sort of person like that. You've that would, been like would that. do it and give it, uh, I would have thought that you would have given 110% whether or not everyone else was. When, right. there's, when there's five days left to the program, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to be honest, I don't give a shit. Five forty-two pm Some of the housemates are in the garden. All I hope that you've learnt from today is to not be so contradicting and a little bit of a hypocrite. That's all I Hypocrite? Think. How am I hypocrite? Or contradicting? I haven't contradicted anything. But you were prepared to let Corinne walk around with no makeup on this morning and then went... No, if she wanted to. No, you went off your offer about it, John. You were prepared said, to no let her feel insecure and wanted her to walk around with no makeup on this morning. So think about that.
No, because at the start of the fucking game, we were told to give 150%. She wasn't. Therefore, I'm not. So any task that had to be, even if it had been dressed up as bananas in pajamas, even if it had said dress up as Big Bird, even if it had said dress up as David Beckham for a fucking day, I wouldn't have done it. Be- out of pure principle, because she was not willing to give 150%. So why the fuck would I? Corin. Come out, come out. Do you want to see what's under my tutu? No, thanks. I don't think that's true. No, thanks. Don't, because I'll cry. No, I'm sure you want to see what's under my tutu. Oh, go on. Ready? Three, two, one. Shut what's up. What's this? Shut up. Oh, God, I'm out of here. No way, how come you've got that hat? Don't make me don't, cry. Don't, don't even get a hug. <laughs> I'm gonna have, uh, I, I've, been, I've been saving that for ages and ages just in case you run out. I <gasps> can't believe the last few days are gonna be shit like this. Oh, no, they're not gonna be shit. Look, you and I. I don't want no one to see me cry. You and I, well, I'm seeing you cry. Let me just stand here. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna follow you in now. Look. You, <sighs> we're gonna have a fun time, okay? <sighs> don't hug me. Come here. No, because I don't want to cry. Oh, come on. Like, this has upset me as well. Like, I know probably look, like, pathetic and stuff, but, like, things like, I, I really felt like I had friends in here and stuff like that, and then, and then, you know, out of everyone, all my friends, that I was class with my friends, like, this morning when all that went on and say, like, no one, no one, I felt completely on my own. If that would have been any one of my friends, I would have gone and sat at the side of them, or just stayed there, it just felt like, you know, there was, there, I felt like there was only Josie that, said, that really stuck up for me, you know, and you was there as well in the kitchen and stuff. But apart from that, like, I, you know, I'm so ready now to go home. Like, I hate anything like this. John has gone through this whole experience arguing with everybody and hardly ever has anyone really stuck up for themselves. You know, I try to as much as I can with him, but I just feel it's breezed through and been so, so arrogant towards everybody. The thing with him with his arguing thing, if he, if he wants to make himself look like an idiot all the time on television, just leave him to it. Don't let, don't let yourself, don't let yourself get sucked into it. <sighs> 6.34pm. Mario, Sam and Corin are in the living room. It's annoying that um, John didn't do that, isn't it? It would be funny to see him in the crop costume. You never know that prediction of that suitcase might have a prediction that it predicts that John James wouldn't do it. Probably will say that. And that's one more we've lost. I heard you guys had a big argument out there, you and John. Oh, yeah. I'm starting to think the nasty John's a more prominent part of it, of his split personalities. It's a shame because he's really, he is fun when, I do really like him a lot when he's being his fun, his fun nice side, but as soon as he switches to his Jekyll side, it's, I just, I don't actually like being around him when he's like that. When he's being arrogant, sarky, and nasty, and argumentative, his Jekyll, Jekyll side. Bob Ryder has summoned JJ to the diary room. Hello, JJ. Hello. How are you? Yeah, lovely. JJ? Yes. As you were a boxer, Bob uh-huh. Ryder would like you to live out your dreams today. Okay. <laughs> Please remove the cloth. <sighs> Bob would like you to choose one of two options. Okay. Would you rather be a featherweight champion or a heavyweight champion? Is this related to boxing, or has this got a hidden meaning? Big Brother can only reveal what Bob's choices are once you have made the decision. Okay, I'm going to say be a heavyweight. JJ, 
Yeah. You may now enter the small task room through the door in front of you and to the right. 